grasshoppers, you have your reading contract to work on, and that's all in your book boxes. You need to work quietly on that. When they come down to the mat, I don't think they see it as hard work. It's fun and I'm there to support them and they can do it and I believe in them and we're going to do it together and it'll be fine and it's part of the adventure of being at school. So It's always about the children finding their own way, taking responsibility for what they're doing and that's become an expectation. Some of that is a very explicit talk actually about learning behaviours and what learners do. Some of it is the skill of the teacher, like for instance, having wait time, that's crucial. Not jumping in and solving the problem, not prompting and queuing too early, and we would share that message with our parents too, so that message is coming through in lots of different ways. Now I just want to go back to here, and I want you to reread that because it didn't sound right. They can use the strategies that we talk about themselves, and so they become in charge of their learning. And that's the magical thing about this, is that they do what they need to do. When you are put in the position of being an independent learner, you do have a go because you see all of your peers doing the same thing. And it's got A, uh, or A, no T, no A first. It starts from A, I mean a T first. The year zeros come into a really established classroom and so teaching them the routines of school and the expected behaviours is quite easy because they have so many amazing role models. Do it A, a circle, now you go do it down, yeah, now a tall T. As far as groupings goes, most of my groupings in the classroom are mixed ability as much as I can. They learn pretty quickly the sorts of things that are happening in the classroom and what the expectations are. We talk a lot about the learning pit and how we might go into the learning pit because things are really tough but if we find out what we need, ask for help if we need it, then we'll get up and out. But it's a continuous process. They become responsible for their own learning mm. and that is the aim, to make them independent lifelong learners and to give them the resilience to try things. Fine if they make a mistake, it's absolutely fine, they know that and they just keep on going. And Compared to the old system, there is hard evidence that we are getting movement with children that previously have got stuck at certain levels. Our teachers see children progressing. They see children engaged with their learning, they see children taking responsibility for their learning, and they see children really enjoying their learning. And I think that gives them a huge sense of satisfaction and pride. Because they feel fairly confident about their practice, they are able to share when things are challenging, and ask for support from colleagues. I think that's a huge part of what we've developed here now. I feel really proud of them. Just to see that urgency and that joy and satisfaction and that nutting it out stuff, it's great. <laughs>